All right, guys, welcome back to Soma, and today I brought back my special guest. Say hello again, Toothless. Oh no, you're doing this again? All right, so where we left off, we made it to the little elevator, and the deep sea elevator, and we got the power suit that will withstand the pressure of the deep sea. Uh, I kind of killed myself in a weird way, and that's where we left off, so I'm kind of pissed at Catherine, and we're just going to continue. You ready to go? Do I have a choice? All right. Have we figured out what happens when we die yet? Is that even possible? Or there's some kind of afterlife. Do you think my place is taken? The real me died like a hundred years ago. There's still room for me? Hey, where are you think you're going? Killed at Omicron. What do you think, Catherine? Is there a heaven full of redundant copies of the same people? Is there someone up there who call me an imposter? It's dumb luck, right? And I woke up in the right body. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Please say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I did it, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge, and you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair, and the sun was setting, and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the yard, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends. I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... Fuse blue. Oh, I was really scared there for a second. Whoa. Jellyfish.
That's that's really surreal. That's pretty cool. Oh, let's go ahead and push this fuse back in. Holy crap, that's cool. Hey, I know it's not much, but why are we stop moving? The power blacked out for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry, it should hold. Comforting. It will hold. Does... Does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels omitted. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes. But generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. It's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black Ooh, goo. pretty, uh, fuzzy. Be the worst. Must be a lot of pressure. 3,100 meters? On weight above my head. What the fuck? You did it. You did it. I will make preparations. What was that? Hell if I know. I was trying to find a place to sleep. I'm... Uh... <sighs> okay. Oh, good, you're back. What happened? Something dropped onto the cage. Knocks you right out. It spoke to me. Looks like a man. One of WoW's creatures. It just stared at you for a moment, then threw itself down the abyss. It said it would make preparations. I don't like the sound of that. It was very strange. I thought it was going to kill you for sure. I'm glad it didn't. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm so glad you didn't kill me, monster. Because I'm sure you're going to try to kill me later. On the ocean floor. Good, not sure the climber could take it much longer. Okay, so this is the Omega Sector. It's about an acre of the abyssal plan used by Pathos 2. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach town. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. I think the other you has been here. You're following in your own footsteps, Cat. When I had footsteps. You could still be down here somewhere, technically. Don't remind me, freaks me out. Alright, let's head to the town and find that arm. Let's do this. The world's most worthless flashlight. Uh, nothing here. Freaking dark. Anything here for me? My vision's kind of fuzzy. I'm wondering if that's because I'm just so freaking deep. These little jellyfish things are cool. Jesus, did you see that? Stick to the lamplights. They won't go near them. I can't, Valglasser. It's important I reach Omicron. Our future depends on it. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the wild is out of control. She needs to get to Sarang. He'll know what to do. Raj, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? Glass! We lost the path! We need to go back! I know where to go. Come on! 
The light is over there. Final push for us. Almost there. We <laughs> Whatever that is, sounds like it's gonna kill us or try to. So we wanna follow blue lights. I don't think running would really be an option this deep in water. You'd just be like bogged down like nobody's business. Gooberfish! Big gooberfish! Star Wars reference? Any Star Wars nerds out there? So I'm not commentating too much, just trying to see where to go. Like, I can only imagine it's ten times darker for you guys, because when you record it tends to record a lot darker. These are glow sticks, I imagine there's people nearby. Is that something I should be afraid of? We're running. I'm not even gonna bother looking. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Couldn't put the elevator closer to the stupid station. I don't even know this, but lizards can't swim. This looks like something. Uploading, oh, saving. Something. Insufficient power. I don't need any of that. Load. Oh good, I had to follow this thing the whole dang way. Don't. Power needs to work. about it. Try 
trying not to worry about it. Stay in small cave. All green glow sticks. They must lead to a rave. There's people at raves. I must be safe if I follow the green glow sticks. That's my logic. I'm sticking to it. Well, shoot. Let's go that way. Yeah. Oh, there's so many of you. That's a monster! It tricked me! Blue lights. Follow the blue lights. Follow the blue lights. Following the stinking blue lights. It's so freaking dark. I can I can barely see. I can't believe that dang fish tricked me. I was like, oh look, it's a light. Go towards that. That's how it catches its dang prey. That freaking light on its forking forehead. Dang's so smart. Stupid fish. I wonder if I'll find Bikini Bottom down here. So you get to the end of the game and it's like, oh, listen a pineapple under the sea. This looks like a happy place. Never been happier to be inside. Let's find the Ark. Dive. I guess we'll check it out. Why not, right? Oh, how's there things down here? It's a freaking deep sea. Those are all locked. Oh, there's a thing. Welcome to town. What's left of it? Are you guys all right? What happened here? We ran out of real food long ago. People have been getting sick. Haven't heard from anyone in months. No shit. They all think you're dead down here. Some failed evac story circulating at Omicron. Oh, God. Listen, son. We're on an important mission, and we need your help to operate the Omega space gun. When it's done, we can all head back up the plateau. But now we need to get moving. Of course. Head on through to the habitat. We shut off the front section to preserve power. All right. See you soon. The gun that they're talking about is the thing that's going to launch things into space, I believe. And I don't imagine.
robot mess. Door. Omni tools all busted. Is there a button I can push there? No. My favorite thing about these games is physics. You gotta love physics. So much physics. Alright, we'll move a little quicker. Okay. Oh, there's beacons. There's a lot of beacons. I'm right there. Laboratories, living area. There's a lot of dang beacons or black boxes in the freaking living area. So that's probably not good. You sleeping, girl? You wanna go to sleep? You tired of the deep sea diving? All right, we'll say good night. <laughs> say good night, Toothless. I hate this crap. All right, let's go to bed. Unfortunately, Toothless was sleepy, so I put her back in bed. So, let's continue. We're gonna go to the laboratories now. And now I don't have claws digging into my shoulder. It's so much more free. Lots of red lights. Let's open this door. Ooh, fancy. If I don't have to run from anything, if that door locks behind me, I'll be screwed. You're already right there, huh? You're just gonna be chilling right there? Yeah. Oh, he runs! He runs good! He runs really fast. We'll go back this way. Bye! A left? And I think another left? And then that's gonna take its sweet ass time, I'm sure. That's what the giant gap meant. Please don't be able to open doors. I hate the little fuzzy ability, and I can actually turn it off, but it's the only thing that lets me know how close he is.
Shit! 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 Excuse my language. I'm so sorry. I I'm really trying not to cuss in these, but oh man. Please don't be able to come up here. What's this do? Is that close something? Yeah, it does. I was like, I heard clanking behind me. Let me look. Oh, there's a uh, mostly no ladder. Living quarters. This is gonna be a happy place. Happy place, happy place, happy place. Nope. There's lots of beacons here, so it's probably this is probably gonna be depressing. people were working so hard to get something done and then bad conditions underwater made it impossible to do. Go away while I'm not letting you or your stupid pets inside. What? There's somebody in there. Oh, door locks. Duh. Alright. That's it right there, I bet. Alright, so let's lock that. And unlock one of these. I don't know. There we go. Make her do what I want. She's gonna be traumatized. Yep, that worked. Please don't do anything rash. You. You're. Don't mind me. Are you human? Sarah Lindwall. Payload technician at your service. A rare sight, am I right? I'd say so. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. There's no one alive at Omicron. You've been there? I've been all over. Power plant at Upsilon, the ruins of Lambda, the abandoned Delta, Theta. You've been to Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos 2. And uh, I'm the only living person you've met. <coughs> you mean I'm the last living human on the planet? I'm sorry. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Stationed out? Nowhere. I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? 
How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now what do you want with it? Take it to the gun at Phi. Launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. This couldn't bring myself to let go. Tell you the truth. Oh, there it is right there. I don't have the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. Good one. If I knew you'd come, I would have cleaned this place up a little bit. I'm glad you came by. Good to get this over with. You serious about me killing you? No, I'd love to hang around here until I dry up to the size of a raisin. Simon, this fucking sucks. <coughs> I don't want to live like this. Shouldn't we be doing something to keep you alive? Why? You're the last human. I, I just find it disrespectful to our entire history not to fight this. Sure, we have the Ark, but you're the real deal. Thanks. That's probably the best compliment I've ever got. But the truth is that the Ark is all we have. We'll have to accept the second best, you know? None of this feels right. Simon, I want to die. Sarah. Just think about it. Knock it out of the park. Good luck, Simon. I still can't believe I'm the last one. It's crazy. Can I download you to the thing? <laughs> Be my guest. I got no secrets worth keeping. She's looking at all the things that were on Earth before she uh, came down here. save humanity. What's left of it. Would you stay with me, please? It won't be long now. Just... Please, just stay. What a crazy thing this was. Life. At least I won't have to turn 30. Hooray! <laughs> Wish I could have died at home with my friends. Have you ever been to Greenland? It's very beautiful. Well, at least when you get out of the city. 
Nanok is busy, and yes, there's like 12 million people trying to get around, but it's a great place. Or rather, it was a great place before the comet ended it all. You know what? I prefer it this way. I liked Pathos. Liked my colleagues. Ian, Nick, Jasper, even Catherine. People thought she was weird because she was quiet, but she was cool. Simon, you're still there? I'm here, sir. Don't let him die, okay? Send them out there. To the stars. The black box is inactive. Probably found a way to switch it off. Boy. Alright. Let's uh, finish this up. That's crazy. This game is really good. That'll do it. All right. Get the emotions away and let's get this over with. I wonder if this is in game if there's a little bit more to go.
are you going? This may be a weird place to do it, but this is where I'm going to end the episode. Okay, so that was just mostly an emotional episode. Not a whole lot of action, but it was a very, very good episode. It kind of makes you realize how fragile humanity is. It's kind of crazy. But no, it was a really good episode. I enjoyed playing, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I don't know how much more is left in this game, but um, I'm assuming we're almost done. I think I have one more episode. Hopefully I didn't end it and I have like three more minutes, but if that's the case, I'll post a three-minute episode, whatever. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, punch that like button, and if you'd like to see more videos from me, please subscribe. I appreciate you and your time, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye! <laughs>